OK, uh, question 2, we're given y in terms of x, and we've got to find dy by dx. So we use the rule for differentiation. This is chapter 7, if you need to look that up. But we take each power, and we reduce it one by one, and we multiply by the old power. And then um, you should know that when you differentiate a constant, it vanishes. And when you differentiate a number of x's, you just get that number. So 7x plus 3, you treat like mx plus c, the gradient is just n. OK, so look up your rule for differentiation in chapter 7 if you've forgotten it, and then differentiate that answer again to get your second derivative in part b. So that first one mark should be quite straightforward. And then we've now got to uh, do an integration. OK, um, so the rules for integrating, this is chapter 8. So 1 um, does not vanish when you integrate. It goes to x's. Um, now these two things are you need to express as powers of x. So this is going to become the integral of 1 plus 3 times x to some power, okay, minus x to some other power. So you're going to need to use a power to create the square root of x and another power of x to create 1 over x squared. Um, that's still an integral, so don't then forget to um, go on and actually integrate each of these terms, and don't forget your plus c on the end. Okay, that's question 2.